What is up, guys? It's Jared, and um, I have some good news. Well, for myself, anyways. This is not gonna be one of those videos that I was mentioning the other day, like uh, say I'm talking about Call of Duty Four or something. It's just a quick update about what's going on. Um, so you know how I get the Wi-Fi connection from Nani. I was very happy about. It. So um, the other day when I did get it, I looked up if I could somehow use my the Wi-Fi from my laptop to play on Xbox Live. And I figured that I would just plug it in the Ethernet cord to my computer laptop and it would probably work. But it wasn't that easy. It didn't work. So I kind of, I tried it though. I was like trying to figure out the problem to fix it. I tried enabling sharing, which that was the wrong thing to do. Apparently, because the whole like reason why it wasn't working when it wasn't working was because the sharing was enabled. But nonetheless, so last night at like 2 o'clock or something, around there, um, I got up and I was like, I want I want this to work. So I tried to figure it out, I looked it up, and then I came upon Instructables.com, and um, I do have a name said, your problem is that you're probably sharing a folder or a file on your connection. You have to disable your file share or connection sharing. Network sharing folder will tell if you're sharing certain folders or not. So thank you. That was posted December 22nd of 2009. So it was like three years ago. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. I mean, I was looking for why it wasn't working, and then that person helped me. So I did. I was able to. To I turned off the sharing, and then I was able to bridge the connections, and voila, it worked. I, all I have to do is plug in my thing to my Ethernet cord on my, my laptop. And then I just plug, plug it into the Xbox, and it works. So, um, yeah, and currently I don't have Xbox Live right now, because I ran out of the free month. I'm trying to get another free month right now, but it said that, uh, I needed to try again later, because there was something wrong with the uh, system or something. I don't know, the Xbox Live sign-up wasn't available, but nonetheless. So, um, yeah, I mean... I was surprised that I did it though. Because honestly, last, cause yesterday me and Patrick were talking, he's like, dude, I'll buy an Xbox three months. Because I was telling him I'm, I'm going to try to figure it out. And honestly, I don't think I was going to figure it out. Because, I don't know, I tried I tried fixing it and it wasn't working. You know, I tried to enable the sharing thing and it wasn't working. I was like, it wasn't obtained the IP address. So I was like, I was like, I gave up basically. But then last night, I was like, I want I want to see if I can try to find this online, see what I can do, try to see if I could find the solution online, and next thing I know, I I found it, which you know just just goes to show that if I really want something bad enough, and I know that well, I don't know, but if I think that is possible, like this, because I saw people saying, oh, they could use their laptops as a wireless adapter to Xbox, so like I kind of figured there's a possible way of making it work. But I didn't know how to get it to work because I tried and it wasn't working. But it just goes to show that, like, if I really want something and it's possible, that I can, you know, I can do it. I mean, I, I was proud of myself. It's not the most amazing task. It's not. The, I was freaking happy with myself when I hooked up the router and did that. Because honestly, I'm not the most tech techy guy. I'm pretty good with computers. I can go on the internet. I can look up stuff on the internet. I'm mad good at looking up stuff. I can use a computer but when it comes to like connections I'm not really that techy but I mean apparently I'm getting better because now I know how to set up this router now I know how to use my laptop as a wireless adapter the Xbox I'm getting better you know and as I should I'm getting older but yeah so I'm not the most techy person so that's why this is like pretty good for me and I was happy so yeah I was really happy that I did it because now it's like fuck you Carmen fuck you you know what? You made me unplug my router that I just bought so I could have Xbox Live and internet on my laptop so I could fill the job applications. And then you took it away from me. But then I got somebody's Wi Fi password to hook me up. And now I can go on my laptop and Xbox Live. So fuck you. How does it feel to get owned, you fucking cunt? Anyways. Um. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is that um, I just hope that this method of using this as a wireless adapter, basically, or a router, 
I just hope that it's not um harmful to my computer or the Xbox. Cause I I read on when I was reading the forums trying to figure out how to do this the other day, some people said, "Oh, I went through a couple of Xboxes because of this." So I mean, I'm hoping that was just their that was just another issue that they had or something. I don't know. Because why would that break it? It shouldn't, I don't think, you know. I'm, then again, I'm not the most techy person. But, yeah, so I was just doing a quick video update saying that I don't have Xbox Live right now because I don't have one month. I don't have three months. I should be buying three months next week or something like that. But hopefully I can get on before then. So, but I'm happy, for them, you know. I did it. Oh, yeah, and my social security card came in the mail yesterday. My sister told me. So... This is when my life starts, you know. I, I had Xbox Live. I took a step back. Xbox Live was gone. And so was internet on my laptop. Got internet back on my laptop. And then figured out a way to get Xbox Live back using my laptop's internet. Which is, it's awesome that you can do that. I'm very happy that you can do that. I, you don't understand the excitement when I saw it went to network. And then went to internet. And then Xbox Live. I was really happy, like. Like, yeah. But, uh. So, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. Alright. Still living here for now. I don't know what was going to go on. I don't know. I just, I'm just i just going to chill out for now for now. And then, unless something bad happens, like, you know, I'm just going to chill, try to get a job, try to get out of here so I can get my own place, or get a place with Damien or with Will. Yeah, I talked to Will yesterday. I haven't talked to him in a long time, so that was cool, too. But, yeah, I mean, I'm just taking it one step at a time. I got Xbox Live back, got internet back. Now I just need to get a three-month card to actually play on Xbox Live. But at least I got the first step done, you know. And the next step, I need a job. And I need a job, and my social security is going to help me get that job, because I have my social security card, and I have my birth certificate, so I can give you my ID. I would have had a job at Six Flags, but didn't have my ID, so I couldn't start training. But I mean, yeah, so, I mean, it's been 7 minutes and 32 seconds of me blabbering about pretty much nothing. So, um, I'm going to go now. I don't know when the next time I'm make a new video. Honestly, I don't, I've got to try to, i got to try to find out new stuff on my computer, try to clean it up, because every time I go on, on YouTube, I swear it buffers, like, every, like, five seconds, it's kind of ridiculous, I have to wait to, like, I have to, like, pause it and let it load, like, halfway for it to, like, go through the whole video without buffering, that's pretty stupid, I mean, my connection's, like, it's, like, good connection most of the time, you know, fair or excellent, you know, like, it shouldn't be, and I did, I defragmented it yesterday, and I just cleaned up, but I don't know if it helped. Maybe I did a little bit. I'm not really sure. But, yeah. So, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.